Good morning to Rob and Paige, who happen to be Kirsten, our director's parents, and they're watching the show this morning, and they're asking whether cheetahs are really endangered. Well, they are. It's, it's a very interesting thing. So about 10,000 years ago, cheetahs hit a genetic bottleneck, which means they can actually genetically trace that there were less than 1,000 individuals left in the whole of Africa, and they've actually come back from that. Now, they've done some very interesting studies with skin grafts, and you can take a piece of skin from a cheetah here and graft it onto an Iranian cheetah even. So there's almost no genetic variation, which makes them very uh, vulnerable as a species because they do not have that sort of vast genetic code where certain have uh, immunities to certain diseases and whatnot. So if one cheetah is unable to defend off a certain disease, all other cheetah will be, be prone to having that exact same disease. Now, human beings have actually increased the cheetah population recently and uh, areas like Namibia and there's a very 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 healthy cheetah population on the cattle farms so cheetahs are a bit small to take a, an adult cow and, and they're quite skittish you can easily chase them away with dogs and things like that so uh, leopards, lions and hyenas have been removed from those areas and the cheetahs have made a comeback but they are, are truly endangered there's not many left and the largest meta population in Africa when I say meta population it's the, the population that holds the most genetic diversity and it's about 400 or no sorry yes about 400 or so is the low felt of South Africa so most people would always assume Serengeti, Botswana, Kalahari but actually that the most healthy population with the largest genetic diversity is right here where we're sitting at the moment